Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys had a great day. I know I'm coming on here really late. Like, I don't think I've ever come on a Facebook Live this late before. So for the night owls, that's great. For those of you that aren't tomorrow, just watch the replay. That's fine. Oh my gosh, have you have you had a day lately? Like I have had a day and it has been just a little crazy. So I started off my morning today by doing a, a question and answer panel for an upcoming leadership training program. And that was super fun. I always like doing stuff like that. That went really well. And then Haley and Jared came over for breakfast with baby Val and I got my baby snuggle time. So that was really cool and fun and fabulous. And then about four o'clock, I received an, a, an instant message on Facebook and <laughs> it asked me about sending the videos. And I was like, oh, she must have sent this to the wrong person. So I sent back a message and said videos for what? <laughs> well. Let me tell you what happened. Apparently, I was supposed to have gotten an email. And you know, sometimes emails can just not show up where they're supposed to be. But on about May 4th, I should have received an email. And I went and searched my emails. And I never got this email. And I don't doubt that it was sent out. But I just never received it. And holy moly. So for this leadership that I am participating in, I was supposed to make up a couple videos. And um, so that was like four o'clock, my life ended today. <laughs> and I came in here and I started working on my content for my videos. And I do have one completely done. And then, so I popped on here to tell you guys that um, I would be live as soon as my video was uploaded because that pulls a lot of streaming away from my internet service, right? So I don't, I can't go live and be uploading a video at the same time. So I was going to wait till that video was done uploading. And lo and behold, I thought it was finished when my computer stopped spinning. You know, it does the <laughs> like my sound effects <laughs> and it failed. Yeah, sometimes videos just fail and it says that my um, your stream was interrupted like my internet had a little glitch and then the whole video fails. So I decided just to leave it be when I get done with uh, the cards that we're going to make tonight, I will upload that video again. <laughs> like I just can't win. Today was perfect until about four and oh well, you know, it's nobody's fault. I'm not it's just sometimes life doesn't go as you plan it. And today was one of those days. So I am uh, playing a little catch up here tonight, but thank goodness I am showing you guys a card that Haley designed. And I told you a while ago that I have some cards sitting here waiting for me to do either Facebook lives or make videos on. And today was the perfect day for me to just grab one of those. It's quick and easy for me to then do my Facebook Live and I get to spend some time with my friends. Yay. Yeah, so oh, I need to just breathe. Somebody came on and said, just breathe, it's okay. And I'm like, oh, I know, but you know how you get a little frazzled? I even probably had a hot flash, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have absolutely no news for you today about John. Nothing happened that I'm aware of. Um, Steve is a little cranky today. He went to bed a long time ago, and I'm so glad because he is fed up with Wisconsin weather. <laughs> and it's always this time of year where like the anticipation of summer makes him a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. So he gets a little crabby. And then he starts complaining about our stupid weather because like literally it's May 18th. It could snow tomorrow. We never know here in Wisconsin what's going to happen. But he's sick of this Wisconsin weather and we will be going someplace next winter. <laughs> yeah, so then I had that factor in my day too. So I'm really happy to be here with some really happy people, right? We're happy. Yeah. I see Jean coming in from Phoenix. I've got Marjean here and Jody and Debbie. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Vicki just popped in and Melinda. 
<laughs> well, Linda, she got worried. I know, right? Because it's not normal for me not to at least tell you guys that I'm not going to be on, but I had to just keep plugging away because as soon as you get distracted and go on Facebook, oh my Lord, it could take you like a while to get off of there. So when I have some type of a deadline, I just, I am like done with any type of social media. I don't answer my phone, my text messages, my instant messages, my Snapchats, my anything. I just have to turn it off and concentrate. So I have to say that I think that my presentation I did is fantastic. So for those of you that might be attending that online leadership training, I hope you like it. And I love doing stuff like this. I love sharing. Um, this is, of course, the business side of my Stampin' Up! And I love sharing that with other demonstrators to empower them, right? Yeah. So I'm excited about it. And then I don't know what's going on with the iPad. You know, I told you I have to have three devices now to go live. And um, it's got a thing and it's spinning and the screen is all kind of a yellowy tinge. I'm just not sure what's going on with that, but I'm not gonna worry about it. As long as we're still working here, we're gonna be fine. So um, I did have time to go on and draw a winner. I have this kerchief card kit, beautiful, beautiful kit to give away for our Facebook Live from Friday night. And I say that because Sundays, I reserve Sundays as my normal day for Facebook Lives. And I always have three prize drawings, one for commenting, one for sharing, and one for placing orders during that week. So I'm keeping my Sunday separate. So I went back to Friday to get my winner for this one. And I drew Rosemary Foster of Tawanda, Pennsylvania is the winner of this beautiful card kit. And these were part of our celebration promotion in January, February, and March. And they didn't last long because they are a hot commodity. I might have a couple more. So I'm happy to be giving this away to her. And then as long as I'm on that, I wanted to also mention Kelly Guy, if you happen to watch, you won a prize and I need you to send me your address and I need it to be in an email. My email address is kelly at a stamp above.com so that I can get your prize out to you. You only have one week left and it gets put back in the drawing. So I hate to do that. Like I've only ever had to do that once, I think. So it's been pretty good. I see Sherry is checking in from Washington. They're having thunderstorms. Holy cow. Ah. And I just saw somebody say something about <laughs> Candy says, what a day. Everybody has them. I know, right? Just saw somebody say something about Dina and I completely missed it. So I'm really sorry. Um, did Linda do nails today? Jody wants to know. Linda did nails. Yes, Linda did. And um, Linda also informed Haley that today was the last day Linda would be doing nails. Like he is not gonna do nails anymore, but he got out the Dremel tool and he did her nails and then I painted them. And she always picks out the prettiest polish. She brought it with her. All of my polish is really old because I haven't done my nails except recently on my own for years. So I'm still looking for somebody said something about Dina. I don't know what that was. But anyways, these are my nails. Let me see if I can get them in the picture there. And this is the same color that I painted Haley's nails after Linda did them. <laughs> oh, Roxanne said that Dina said we are going on a road trip together. And yes, today is Dina's birthday. It's the same as Marsha's daughters. And Dina and I are going on a road trip this weekend. We just actually had to push it back a day because we're both so insanely busy that we just couldn't get out of here when we had wanted to. Dina and I are going on a road trip. What a fun, probably hysterical road trip that will be. We are headed to Wyoming to visit our friend Barb. And now that our restrictions are somewhat lifted, um, we decided we were not going to fly. We don't want to be in cootie infested airports, especially kind of this early into it. But I think we both need a little getaway. So we're going to be leaving, I believe, on, I'm leaving probably Friday night and headed down to Iowa. And then we're going to be leaving on Saturday to head to Wyoming. And so I will not be live on Sunday night. 
and um, I'll keep you abreast of my schedule as we go here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get some Facebook Live, Matt Lives ready to go or not because kind of buried right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that happens, right? Everybody goes through it. I'm not, I know that I don't like, I'm not the only person who's maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed at this point, but we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm not going to promise anything, but it is a possibility. Never know. So, oh, I know. I opened up a new bottle of glue today. Like that's so exciting. It's almost as fun as getting a new Versamark ink pad. You know what I'm saying, right? You open it up and it's all clean and there's no ink all over in it. So I'm going to do what Lisa Neeland suggested on my last bottle that Haley stole from me. So I didn't get to use it. I am putting the date on it. So today is 518, at least I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's Monday. I don't even know anymore. I'm going to put the date on my glue bottle so I can tell you how long it takes me to use it up because I've always wondered, these last forever, but I've always wondered how long is forever when I'm using them. So this is probably the best adhesive that I think we've ever had. I love it. And I know that I don't go through many bottles of glue. I mean, considering how much I, how many cards I make, right? So it's pretty cool. All right, tonight I am going to be sharing, like I said, a card that Haley made. I'm going to be using the beautiful Poppy, Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. I absolutely love this paper. It's retiring. And I always kind of like to go and check in the online store to make sure that I'm not showing you something that you can't order because that would be dumb. Um, and this paper is actually on back order. We're retiring it, but we have more coming into the warehouse. So I wanted to kind of touch on that subject a little bit. When you come across something that says it's on back order, I've had people email me and say, I don't know what I should do. Should I order it? Yes, always order it. If it allows you to order it, it, um, it'll say, uh, this item is on back order. Do you want to order it anyways? Say yes every time because Stampin' Up! will ship out your order with everything they have in stock. And then when the paper comes in, they'll then mail that, okay? So you'll get the rest of your order and then whatever's back ordered will come when it's available. So you always wanna do that because that way you're getting all of your things in under one shipping price rather than just placing an order for these items. And then when that item comes back in, then you place an order for that one item. That's not good shopping. <laughs> just gonna tell you. So always take the back order and they'll ship it when it's available. So I just wanted to let you know that. The other thing that I'm going to be using tonight is our gold metallic edged ribbon. And that I believe is still on back order, but I'm pretty sure we have more coming in. And because this is the only piece that I have, like literally this is all I have. <laughs> Haley loves gold and she used a lot of it. I'm going to be instead using silver tonight, but it would be much better with gold. I'm just going to say it. So I think that we are ready to do a little stamping. So I'm going to change my screen now and just bear with me. This is all just a little bit tricky. We're going to go here. Yay. I'm going to get back out to Facebook so I can see who's coming in. <laughs> Vicki says, take a much deserved break. I know. You know what, Vicki? Steve asked me, well, when are you guys coming back? Well, first Dina said to her husband, yeah, I'm thinking about going on a road trip to Wyoming. Well, at first we looked at airline price or airline tickets, but we both decided we didn't want to do an airplane and it would probably take just as much time to be in airports as it would to just drive there. And the second thing was that um, I lost my train of thought because my screen just switched. <laughs> oh my Lord, this is gonna be, we're gonna have a good time tonight, you guys. I'm still talking to my screen over there when I know that I'm right here. So um, anyways, she asked, she said to her husband, like I'm thinking about taking a trip to Wyoming and he goes, whatever. And then I told Steve, I'm like, yeah, I'm going on a road trip with Dina to Wyoming. And so he's like, oh, that's cool. And then a few days later, he asked, so when are you coming back? And I'm like, I don't know. 
<laughs> and so I talked to Dina about it today. She goes, yeah, well, I think I can only be gone for like 10 days. We're not going to be gone 10 days. Our families would go absolutely crazy, right? Like that's not even possible. So anyways, we're going to have a good time and it is a much deserved break. Oh yeah. And I did my nails today. I painted them as soon as I painted Haley's that Linda did. <laughs> you can still see some of that acrylic on my nail. So my nail has grown this much since the lockdown, you guys, that much. And you should see my toes. I'm not, don't, don't be afraid. I'm not going to show you my toes, but my toes only have half polish on them from when I went on vacation in January. The rest of it is grown out. So I have nothing and then a tip on the end that has polish on it. <laughs> They're horrible. Okay, um, we're gonna be making the card that Haley designed for us and I'm gonna get those bits and pieces out. She did such a good job with these. I was just so grateful to have her. And of course, all of this came before Val. <laughs> Little Miss Val was absolutely adorable today. I got to, did I feed her? I don't think I did feed her. No, but I got to hold her and play with her and she's getting where she's awake a little bit more. So we have a rich razzleberry card base here. Oh, I forgot one of the stamps. Taylor, I don't know what stamp you used for this. Where's my directions? Rich razzleberry, oh, I see it. <laughs> Silly mom. Um, I am going to use this little one. So we're using the So Sentimental stamp set and the Stitched So Sweetly dies with the Peaceful Poppies paper. Like, yeah, we're mixing it up. Let me grab a block quick because I find one. Here we go. I completely forgot that I needed this little bugger. Okay, so we're going to grab the Rich Razzleberry. And get my pad in here, get this out of the way and do a little stamping therapy. I need it probably just as much as you guys do tonight, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take this little bugger and we're gonna stamp it up and down the sides. And this is kind of time consuming, but it's a good thing to just watch TV and do. And notice that I'm moving my cardstock all over. You could take and move your stamp all over the place, but I don't know. It's just how I do it. Do I have this close enough for you guys? I think I pulled my camera down so that you would be able to see better. All the things. So I've got my webcam hooked up and I can get it to play on my computer screen, but I don't know how to make it go into Zoom or Facebook or any of the things. And my friend Donna, from Australia has offered to help me when I have time. And I told her I would get in touch with her because she uses a webcam and she knows how to do the things. And I will get in touch with her when I can, but right now is not it, right? Sometimes that's why it takes so long to integrate these new, oops, I keep missing it, <laughs> to integrate these new things into our business because they all take so much time to figure out. And who has all that time? I know I don't. Okay, so I'm going to do just a few more here to kind of just fill this in a little bit. I noticed this side isn't as filled in as the other side, so I better fix that. We don't want some kitty wampus dumb looking card. <laughs> oh, if you guys remind me, I have cards to show you too. I was in such a dither, I kind of forgot about it. I got some really pretty cards today. Okay, so we're going to grab our chamois. And Anne is asking if I can bring the camera down closer to my project. I really can't, Anne. I've got it really low right now. What I suggest is that you find a bigger device to watch it on. If you're watching on your phone, um, that's tricky, right? But I can't get it any closer because then I only have this much space to stamp in. And right now, as it sits, I only have about 12 inches to stamp in right here. And I can't really get any closer than that. But if you're watching on your phone, make it full screen. If you're on an iPad, make it full screen. If you're on your laptop or a computer, make it full screen with the little arrows in the bottom. And that'll be really helpful. The bottom, there should be some little arrows where you can make it blow up. Okay, I've got an inside 
panel here. This is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to add some of this, oh, <laughs> some of this glue. Holy cow, that just came pouring right out of there. Let me see if I can do that a little better. I don't know why that happened. That's, I've never done that before. We're gonna add this, and this is the green striped side. I think this is gonna be a really pretty little contrast on the inside of this card. Let me bring that in here. Now I have glue on my hand and I'm kind of getting it all over. So we're gonna to have to do a little wash up in a second here. Oh my gosh, isn't that, I love Rich Razzleberry with the Granny Apple Green is so pretty, isn't it? Tia says she has it on her 60 inch TV and can't see it. What exactly is it that you can't see? Cause I've got an iPad right here in front of me and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So let me know because Oh yeah, and, and Kathleen is telling um, Anne Marie to turn your phone sideways. Yeah, so if you have your phone tall way, turn it sideways and tip it and it should turn the screen. That'll make it a little bit better too. But I'm watching an iPad right here in front of me and I can see exactly what I'm doing. So, okay. So next, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do just a little bit of stamping. And I am going to keep my rich razzleberry out here. Where is my stamp? Okay, hang on. I lost, oh, here it is. <laughs> I lost my stamp. <laughs> Again, I'm using this so sentimental stamp set. This is a beautiful stamp set with these dies. It is just the best. I've had so much fun with it. You can stamp any sentiment in here that you want. You guys know that I use a lot of thank you cards. And if you notice, my cut, mine is cut off. I had to trim mine. I got my label on crooked and I needed to know where that enough was so that I could stamp straight, just like that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is grab a handheld punch. Now Stampin' Up! doesn't have handheld punches anymore. Um, we don't sell them. I guess they weren't selling, I don't know. But you're going to get a handheld punch and you're going to Oh, we're not gonna punch that. We're gonna bring in a guard um, old olive layer and this is gonna go on there. So we're going to, and again, this is these are all die cut with the stitch so sweetly dies. I love, of course, this is like my favorite one. Let's see if I can center it. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a professional. Let's see if I can act like one. Um, I love these two, like these are the bomb, right? And of course I use all these rectangles too that have the scalloped edge, they're stinking adorable. So then we're gonna take any type of a punch. You can punch a hole with a pokey tool, you can do whatever you need to do. But I'm just gonna punch a couple holes right there. And then I'm going to bring in the ribbon that Haley left me. <laughs> I say that because she used all my gold ribbon. And I've got it cut at, a, or Haley has it cut at an angle here. So I'm gonna bring that in and put it through the back, hang on, through the back of my layer. Yeah, I can lift the card up to the lens. I can do that. And I, I think I, almost always do do that when I'm done making the card. Okay, so I've got this on here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie a knot in the end. Maybe if I can get my little scrawny fingernails in there. <laughs> Pull this through a little bit more. Give yourself some room. It's better to do this if your card is still attached or I mean your ribbon is still attached to the roll so you're not wasting so much, right? But look at, look at how cool that is. Hang on, let me cut this off. Careful so I don't cut myself. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, I see, I see what Nancy's saying that it was Rich Razzleberry on Rich Razzleberry cardstock. Yeah, so hang tight, I'll bring that back in. Thank you for explaining. Thank you guys for being patient with me too, because I don't always know what everybody means. Okay, 
Now, this is a little further away and I don't want you to sweat that. You can pull this in on the back and just add some Amish tape. <laughs> I know I'm the only one with Amish tape, but you could do that and it'll, it'll stay right there. So it's nice and snug. You want those knots to be nice and snug up against those holes that I just put in here. There we go. So see what I did there? I kind of fudged it a little bit. We do that a lot on the backs of cards, fudge things. Look at how pretty that is. I just like that look. This was Haley's idea, not gonna lie. Okay, so here is that rich razzleberry. Yeah, and I can see as I'm looking at that iPad over here, it is hard to see that, but it's just the little tiny polka dotty stamp that I put on the edges here in rich razzleberry ink on rich razzleberry cardstock. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're kind of, whoops, you gotta put your flowers right side up. If your pattern has a definite, or your paper has a definite pattern, you wanna make sure it's right side up. We're gonna put this right in the middle of our card. And that's why I only put those little dots on each side. Make sure that comes all the way up to the top. Oops, I think it slid a little bit. Oh, I did slide it. Hang on, you guys. I'm not having very good luck. Now I'm going to have a hot flash. <laughs> not going to lie. Here it comes. <laughs> okay. There we go. And I've got a little sliver down here. You know how that makes me a little crazy, right? I'm just going to trim along that edge and get that off of there. There we go. That makes me happy. Okay, next. Oh, by the way. This layer is three by five and a half. And now I'm gonna bring in some of our vellum cardstock. This is uh, two and a half by five. And hang on just a second. I think actually that these were swap cards that Haley made for me. So yeah, I think they absolutely were. Okay, so we're gonna put our vellum right in the middle. Okay, and it's just gonna tone this paper down a little bit. And I don't know, anytime I use vellum, I kind of like to use my snail. We're getting new adhesive, by the way, in the new catalog. By the way, who's gotten their new catalog? Because my customer copy arrived yesterday. And I know somebody else uh, messaged me today, Cindy from Menasha. She messaged me to tell me that she got hers and she was super duper excited. I was so happy for her. So catalogs are now starting to arrive. Yay! We're gonna put this layer up on dimensionals. I'm just gonna put one on each side here. So we got some good stability. And then we're gonna pick the back off. Oh, Haley's on now. I didn't see her pop in, but I see somebody telling her that I'm giving her credit. Yeah, this is totally her card. And like I said, I think she made this for me um, as a swap card, because I see my name in the back of an envelope that it's in. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? It's not terrible, it's wonderful. All right, so I need to find my other pokey tool. Yep, I need this one. I like to use the spatula end with these gold gilded gems. So I'm gonna put them in the same place that Haley put hers, and I'm using the big ones, and maybe one little one. Just like she did. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I thought this was gorgeous. And I thought it was gorgeous enough that I also made a matching envelope to go with it. That was my idea, not Haley's. <laughs> oh, I just threw her right under the bus. And now I'm going to switch colors. So I thought it would be nice to have one in another color that matches the Poppy Designer Series paper. And I'm going to bring in this color combination. What? Yeah, isn't this pretty? Oh my goodness. I have become a really big fan of the Granny Apple Green, which is what this color is. I just when it first came out, I was not too into it. Like I was like, wow, that's really bright. But once you get to using it, you get used to it. And then pretty soon I started loving it. And again, quick, simple cards to make. 
Oh, Gilmore says, I don't need to get my nails done. I know, isn't this a pretty color? This is Haley's color. And it even matched my jacket. So like, does she have some ESPN going on? Oh, look at it. I'm not even buttoned up here, you guys. I'm like half naked for Pete's sakes. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, it matches my um, clothes that I wore today. Yeah, I had to get just a tiny bit dressed up today so that I looked like, oh, this is supposed to be Old Olive. Oh. Yeah, I got to change that. Sorry, you guys. I'll keep this for something else. Not Granny Apple Green. We need Old Olive. But I do love the Granny Apple Green. I wasn't kidding about that. Let me grab a piece of Old Olive. Hang on. Here comes our olive. And a paper cutter. I always like to score my tall cards because they don't fold nicely. Did you see it? honest to, can you believe it? Like, did I seriously do that? I did, I totally did. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it fixed. There we go. We're gonna use Old Olive because that's the color that matches the paper. Ugh. Minor problem, right? Okay, so I got a little bit of that and I'm going to grab, we used to have these erasers and this is what that's good for. I just need to take the little bit of glue that was right here. There's some right there, but that's not gonna matter because we're gonna now put glue on it. This matches so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. I was thinking, oh, green apple green card, but no, not so much. Okay, now we're going to burnish that edge good. And let's see, we've got a whole bunch more messages that I missed. Oh, I really scored this not very well. Like, what am I, a beginner at this? Scoring cardstock is challenging. You would think it'd be super simple, but it really isn't. Okay, next we're going to take, oops. Oh, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. Oh, do I want to do that or green? I think I want to use green, not poppy parade. We're stamping on the fly, people. I'm going to grab old olive and do that. I think that's going to be my best bet here. We'll see. If I don't like it, we can turn it over, right? Here we go. Can you tell that, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm a lot more awake this time of night. I do seem to be a little frazzled though. Okay, here we go. We're going to do all of these again because it was super duper cute. And you know what? It's worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Stamp, stamp, stamp. So what did you guys have for supper? I have not had supper. I had waffles today. I made homemade waffles. Did you guys try my waffle recipe? I heard from Andy Aquisto and I heard from somebody else too, but I can't remember who that they made the waffles and it was a fabulous recipe and they will be making them again. But yeah, I made um, Jared Haley and Steve waffles this morning for breakfast. And then I, oh, and I have to give you an update on the Costco bacon. Remember I said it wasn't very good. Well, today I put it in a pan and put it in the oven on like a baking sheet. Cause I know, I think I've made bacon like that before but it's been a long time. And I think the last time I did that it sputtered all over my oven and it got smoky in the house because then the bacon grease was on the element. It was just a whole big old thing. Well, today I decided to give it another try and I put the bacon on a baking sheet. I lined the baking sheet with um, tin foil so that when you get ready to clean up, you just take the tin foil and toss it. That's kind of a cool idea. But anyways, the Costco bacon was delicious. Like it was really good. It like, it, it wasn't as crunchy. We like our bacon crispy. It wasn't as crunchy. And when you put it in your mouth, it just like fell right apart. It was so, so good. I'm still pretty disgusted about this edge. Can you see that back edge on this card? I don't like that. Like that will drive me crazy. I'm gonna give this a shave. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I can't handle that. And <laughs> now it's better. <laughs> I know, I'm so weird about stuff. Okay, where'd my glue go? Right here. 
So anyways, the bacon was delicious and it was the Costco bacon and it actually just even tasted better. Like it had so much better flavor than it did when I made it um, in a fry pan the other day. So we'll give the Costco another try because it was really good. And it was only $10 for two packages. Um, so two pounds, $10 for two pounds. And it was really thick. So delicious. Okay, there we go. Where did my other, oops, look at look what I just did there. Uh, oh, I just need to give it time to set. Um, here it is right here. We're gonna put this on just like we did the last one. Patricia said she says she has always been a night owl. You know what? I really have been too, except when I had to get to work by 6 a.m. I went through a period where I had to be um, at work at 6 a.m. And so I had to go to bed about 10. But Nancy just said, tried bacon in the air fryer. It was really good. So that's good to know because I, I maybe have an air fryer. I haven't opened the box yet, but I got my Pampered Chef order. And I know my air fryer was on back order. So I hope it's here. But I still haven't opened the box because I'm busy. <laughs> I promised my pampered chef lady when I opened the box, I would share a picture of all my product on her Facebook page. And I haven't done that because I haven't opened the box. Like, honestly, Kelly. So this is the silver. I would definitely want to go with gold here, but I don't have any. So we're going to do silver edge metallic ribbon. But anywho, I will give that a try, the bacon and the air fryer. I've never used an air fryer before, but I think it sounds fabulous to be able to fry stuff with air instead of oil and make it really fattening, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I know that fat is what makes food taste good. Like I never, ever, ever buy diety butter or diety any of that stuff because if you're gonna eat cake, I want real cake with all the fat in it. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay, now I'm hmm, gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna cut it big enough so I can put that knot in it. So this is kind of wasteful, isn't it? Let's see if I can accomplish this one a little better. Haley, I should have watched you make these. I... Okay, so I think I'm gonna take my pokey tool and I'm gonna slide it right through there. And now I can get that knot really close. Ah, genius. Yes. And that's why they pay me the big bucks, folks. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, now, and I will hold the cards up to the camera. So just hang tight. And one more dimensional. Yay. Pokey tool. I love this. Especially if your fingernails are shot or you don't have any. Some people don't have any fingernails. And I'm going to put this right in the middle, just like I did the other one. Okay, pretty, pretty. And then where did our gems go? Right here. So I think for this one, you guys, since I used silver ribbon, I'm going to grab some rhinestones and they're silver, right? So I'm gonna add rhinestones instead of the gems. There we go. And I also want a little bit of glue under this one. So watch me do this. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue under that rhinestone because you're not going to be able to see it if it's under the rhinestone because my vellum's sticking up kind of funny there and I don't like it. See, that's how you fix things, right? Okay, now I have an envelope to match this one too. Pretty, pretty. And then here's our other one. And again, this is just a really cool layout and the dies and the paper do it all, don't they? So here is our rich razzleberry with old olive. Here is our old olive with poppy parade as our accent piece there. And then all of it is, oops, there's my, my um, rainy apple green, is the peaceful poppy designer series paper and the stitch so sweetly and the so sentimental. Love these. 
love, love, love. Haley, you did such a good job on this layout. It's quick, it's easy. It's a great way to use your designer paper up. And remember what I said about designer paper. If you hoard it for too long, pretty soon those pretty little patterns that you fell in love with are no longer popular. And so now you're stamping with outdated paper that isn't trendy, it's not in style anymore. Um, could you imagine, remember how popular, like, oh, I'm really dating myself now, but remember how popular Holly Hobby was? Could you imagine if you were making cards right now with Holly Hobby? Like everybody would know that you had that for like 30 years and it's just not that hot of a thing right now. So that's kind of what happens to color trends and stuff like that. Don't forge your designer series paper, use it up. This is a great layout. DSP is three by five and a half. The vellum is two and a half by five. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I love the envelopes. I can't wait to send these out. This is actually just a perfect, spectacular thank you card. Okay, I have some cards that I got today. Oh, and I have something else I need to show you that I forgot about. Oh, my cards aren't in here, you guys, but I do have a really pretty little gift that I need to share. So hang on. Um, Haley got a gift in the mail and I've got dimensional sticking to it. This gift was from Denise Nibelink, and I just have to show this to you. Let me get this wound up for a second. Yeah. Here we go. Look at this adorable card. This is the Welcome Eastern stamp set bunny. Ready? Oh, it's a suspension card. I just had Steve bring me in some fishing lines so that I can make something like this for you guys soon. And this is that beautiful celebration vellum. Isn't this just the cutest, Denise? This is the most adorable little card ever. Thank you so much. Haley and Jared, Haley showed Jared how you, you wind it up and then you put it in the envelope. And when people open it, then it does the spinny deal. Super cute, right? Okay. And this is also, I'm just looking at this. This is the stitch so sweetly dye that's in here. It's that one right there is what she used on here. So yay again. And then I have to show you all of this. We were stunned by how cute this is. Look at how adorable this little sweater is and the little buttons and the little buttonholes. Now, we had to actually look at it pretty hard to see if it was handmade or if it was purchased because this knitting is so perfect. It looks like it was bought in a store, but it was not. So, so, so pretty. And look at the little booties, you guys. Are these not just the cutest little thing ever? Haley and Jared were like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. Where'd our card go? Right here. So, Denise said, Haley, Jared, and Valerie, congratulations. May Valerie bring you lots of love and happiness. She is so precious. Thank you for letting us be part of your journey and continuing to let us watch her grow. She is one blessed little girl. Isn't this just super, so this came super duper cute. Holy cow. And like I said, we were looking at this and I'm wondering if Denise made this, I'm not sure. But the reason why we knew that it was handmade is because the way these ribbons are put on here, that is not um, an industrial place. Like this was handmade. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's so soft, you guys. Oh, I just can't say enough about it. So I wouldn't let them take it home today so that I could show you guys how cute this is. Oh, and... Um, Haley also said that baby Val is so tiny, Denise, that she'll probably be wearing that this winter because <laughs> she's so little, super duper cute, right? Okay, and then I have this to share with you. And this came from Tracy Gill and I opened this up and I was like, oh my Lord, look at this. It's like, look at the dimension, it's crazy. It says love to you from, oh, sorry, that wasn't, oh, that wasn't from Tracy Gill. This is from Edie Richardson. I'm sorry. 
this note fell off Tracy Gill's package and I thought it belonged to this one. But it says, um, Edie Richardson of Bloomington, Indiana, continue to dream and create your blessing to us all. Look at, look at, this is an easel card, you guys. Can you believe that? This is just incredible. Like it's a work of art. I was like crazy. How on earth? So, so pretty. And she sent it in this box inside of another big envelope so that it wouldn't get crushed. And what a great way to mail this work. This is a work of art, Edie. This is so, so pretty. Holy cow. Yes, I'm gonna set this back here on my desktop so we can all admire it for a while. Thank you so much. I think I have some more cards, but I don't see them in here. So I'm thinking they're in the kitchen. I always open up your cards as soon as they come and um, read them like right away. So that, well, first of all, I don't like to stumble over words, you know, when I'm reading. And secondly, I'm excited to get the mail. So I always like to look at them. And I'm going to go back to Facebook now so I can see what's going on. I missed what everybody had for supper, but I can tell you that I did not eat yet. Ugh. Yeah. But I'm going to when we're done here. I don't think that I am going to be, um, well, I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture of these cards and put it on the front for the video cover but I don't know that I'm going to be getting these into my blog because I just, there are so many other things right now that I have to get done that have deadlines. And so I'm sorry, but something's got to give once in a while, right? That's kind of how this goes. And um, yeah, I'm excited to make my second video for that leadership conference. And I'm still working on kits too. So I have to get all of that done, yay. And I'm going to have a little bit vacation. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited about that too. Poor thing, go eat. Don't worry. I'm not going to wither away. I um, bought some, I think it's called Omega Snack something or another at Costco. And it's got craisins in it and dried apricots and walnuts and almonds and little like some type of little seeds that look like ginormous sunflower seeds. And it's really, really good. I just had a, I've got a bowl here. I had a little bowl of that. So that keeps me, so I'm okay. Not, I'm not fainty or anything like that. <laughs> Nobody wants a fainty Kelly, right? Yeah. So <laughs> this kid really says case that easel card. Oh my Lord. I don't even know if I could like that is crazy, right? Holy cow, Edie, this is like crazy stuff. It's beautiful. It is absolute. Let me give you another view here. Make sure I've got this in here right. Isn't that just incredible? It is incredible. I, I can't even. Like, I've never made anything that spectacular, like, ever. So, what else is happening? Huh. Not much. We're supposed to be getting our concrete poured pretty soon. We had the stump ground out of our backyard. Steve cut down a pine tree. Like it was a pine tree about this big around. And um, we had the stump guy come and grind the stump out. So there's no more stump. I always hate it when, you know, then you still got to mow around the thing that you got rid of. Ugh. So yeah, I was glad. And he's pretty picky about things like that too. I think the one of the reasons why he got rid of the tree is because it was ugly. And the top of it got, no, the top of the other tree got busted out when we had like a near tornado here. But um, it dropped pine cones, like hundreds of them every day. I kid you not. And you either mow over them and it blows them all over the place or you have to pick them up. And it was just like, it's, a, it's an icky, icky tree. So anyways, we got the stump ground out of the tree or the yard. So that was good. Um, weather isn't supposed to be great here tomorrow. I don't think either. It was cold and rainy. Like today when um, Jared and Haley, I like kicked him out of the house at four o'clock when I got the message that I had to do some videos. <laughs> I didn't kick them out, but they did leave. Um, they had to like cover up Val's whole car seat because it was blowing and misting rain and it was just horrible. Anywho, oh, would this be a better way to show these cards? Can you see them better? Yeah, 
I think that's kind of neat looking, right? If I can get the light on them, right? I don't know. Oh, that didn't work very good. Sorry. Anyhow, here's a close up, right? Here comes the other one. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I like the speckles on the edges of this one, but I definitely do on here. That's really cool. So there's both cards. Very pretty. So yeah. All right, so I think that I'm going to let you go so that I can go eat. Um, I do not know. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I do not know if I will be live tomorrow or not, so I'm not going to make any promises because, geez, you guys, I have got to get caught up. I know you understand. I know you get it, but I do have to get caught up, and um, I need to meet my deadlines because I don't like that at all. And I have to make a video tonight for the leadership conference, which should be a lot of fun. As long as I'm dressed nice, right? Yeah. Also, I think it would be a little weird because the one I have left to do is going to be presented in the morning. And then the one that I already did will be presented in the afternoon. And I just don't know that I want to be in two different outfits. That's weird. <laughs> Nobody's going to care. Those are the crazy things that run through my head. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Tanya says, try not to work too hard or late. Yeah, I don't think I will. I think I'll go to bed at a decent time because I was up, well, yesterday, I forgot to tell you guys, I took a big long nap yesterday afternoon. I don't think I told you that. I had my alarm set for 6.30 and I was still in bed when it went off and I got up and did my Facebook live last night. So I was up pretty late last night, probably till at least probably 2 a.m., so I slept in this morning, but then I had to race to get ready to do the, the Zoom conference call this morning, blah, blah, blah. I know, we're all busy, right? Yeah, so I'm just babbling. It was really fun to see you guys tonight, to chat with you, to stamp with you. Um, please don't forget to click on that share button. That really helps me out. It helps me grow my business. Click that like button. That's also very helpful. And if you're watching later on YouTube, don't forget to click the share button. Give me a thumbs up. And this is my ordering link right here. This is my current host code. You can always find this on my blog. I always appreciate your orders. And if you'd like to be a discount shopper, you would love to be on my team because we're a lot of fun. So you can contact me about that too. All this stuff is on my blog, to all kinds of little links. You can see my online classes. You can click about the $99 kit and become a discount shopper. What else do I have on there? Oh, there's an the online ordering button. The host code is on there. Everything's in my blog and my blog address is that thing right there at the top, www.stampabove.com. So you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night and I will see you when I'm back. Bye-bye. <laughs>